All right, you Shakespearean shafts of superlative. Let me see this week's pose. Good, excellent, elementary. Nice, Peter. In Chitty Chitty Gang Bang, the focus will be on character. And for that reason, all of our exercises this week will be about character. And so... I'm pausing for dramatic effect. We are going to infiltrate different school clubs and act as one of their members. What? Yes. Bill and Fiona take chorus. Stephen, Mike, and Jill. John and Nick cross country. Mark, Brennan, and Fiona media club. That's not my name. Ethan and Olivia student council. And I will take on the greatest challenge, detention. So wait, is we even having practice today? Oh hell no. Nah. So to document our process, you will each be required to interview. Any questions? Yeah. For Chitty Chitty Bing Bing, why am I the car? You're ruining your reputation. These Kardashians, I just can't keep up. Any insight? Well, I think Chloe. Yeah? She has the biggest... Personality, I agree. Can I elaborate? Um, she's nice. That is deep, Randy. Oh, well, I was going to say she has... What's in the air, my Johnsons? Hey, move. Okay. What's up? Hey. Sorry, but BMX Club is in room 206 now. Yo, bro, keep off my dick. Excuse me? I just got these dry cleaned. Saved myself on that one. Who the hell are you? Yo, man, we all flounder from the same sea. Okay, so last night's seizure awareness thing raised about $2,432, roughly. And, uh, oh, welcome back, Brett. Yeah, sorry, I had to uh, drive back home, too. I'm sorry. What? I... I, I know you can't. I, I was talking about driving? What do you mean I can't? Because you... You're in a, you're in a wheelchair. <laughs> I'm in... Oh my god! I... Oh. I've been... Yeah, I, I know. I, I'm, I've been like this for a year and a half. I'm the only paraplegic in the school. M my aunt's in a wheelchair. It's fine, man. You don't have to do that. I meet them. Right. Uh, Ethan and Olivia will be joining us to see how student council works. So, it's pretty exciting. Well, Olivia's really the only one interested in student government. I'm only here for her requirement parole. I'm her student correspondent. The best actress adapts to any role she's given. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Uh, oh my god, what, what did you do? It was actually only- No, 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 I'll explain. It's hard for her. She used to kill chickens by snapping their necks. Are you serious? Yeah, she goes crazy when exposed to chicken products of any kind. Wait, I have a chicken sandwich. You better hide that. You better hide that and defuse the scent right now. Look guys, I'm different now. I've been reformed. Chickens are my friends. That's good, Olivia. 
It's also not true. She literally counted her eggs before they hatched just so she could stomp on them before they hatched. Well, that's not entirely bad because, um, what's wrong with you? I was touched by a chicken when I was younger. I did not see that coming at all. Well, he took his beak and he shoved it into my leg. And I stomped the life out of him. And ever since then, I've longed for the taste of chicken blood. Are you the spawn of the devil? If the devil likes omelets. As a delinquent, it is important that you establish yourself as the alpha male, especially when there's only one female in the room. Girl, I'm gonna cover you in sawdust and show you off to the orphans. What the fuck? So, if we allot 10% towards the DJ, we can allot another 30% towards this frilly hey, little Olivia, decoration. Remember when you were fat? Yeah, remember when you could walk? Oh, no, guys, it's not like that. We used to date. We've known each other long before this. Yeah, until she dubbed me for these perpetual dead legs. It wasn't because of that. Cut the crap. All right, so if we uh, put 10% towards the DJ, then we can allow another 30%. Are you sharing your cookies? Golly! Should I, Mrs. Christopher? Gee, I didn't even think about that. You know what? Here's a piece for you, Mrs. Christopher, and for you, Ramona. And a piece for Danny. And a piece for T Oh, not for Tim, because you were caught selling marijuana in the custodian's office, weren't you? Yes! Yo, Cracker Jack, where's my piece? You just call me Cracker Jack? It's cool, I'll just take them for myself. Do not eat that cookie. Yo, dog, we all chipmunks from the same acapella group. Look, my problems aside, I really want to make a difference. So can we get this meeting rolling? Um, yeah, sure. Oh, and Olivia, you can show them that PowerPoint you made. PowerPoint? Yeah, I brought it for you. I knew you'd forget. Sure. All right, so here's my PowerPoint on. So as you can see, if we cut chickens out of the budget, you'll see an name. Sorry, just all this chicken talk, it made me kind of... Fuck rockers. I'm sorry. <laughs> this isn't me. Me and Ethan are just actors. We're doing a project for drama, and... <laughs> Wait, he's acting too? Yeah. Wait, you think it's fine to make fun of handicaps? No, 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 I... I, I was acting, but I'm really a paraplegic. Bite it, and I'll kill you. Yo, what's so important about this cookie anyways? My sister made these. When faced with aggression, one must react with aggression. Detention is a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and I am no vegetarian. Man, screw your sister. Never break character. Stop, I'm Sam Quinto. I'm from drama. What? It was a drama project. Oh. Alright, John, get off him. I, I can't. Are you gonna let me go? Yeah. Acting is an art, spanning from now to the dawn of time. It takes many form and goes by many names. It is alive, breathing. However, sometimes this art, like all arts, gets messy. At a certain point, the artist needs to step back from his work and remember that, despite his best attempts, he can never become the art he creates. He must understand that he is only himself, and there's nothing wrong with being yourself. That is all you are. So you're telling us you're broke character? Yes. I'm gonna live, I'm alright. I'm gonna die, it's alright, I'm okay.